Hi, welcome to the Omready Test Kitchen. Today I am going to make a baked Alaska. Baked Alaska was originally made to commemorate the purchase of the state of Alaska in 1867. And it is an old fashioned dessert, but it's coming back in favor right now. And I can see why, because it's just ice cream and cake and baked meringue. So those are three really delicious ingredients. And the first thing I'm going to do to make this dessert is to start by making the ice creams. So I will begin by making a custard. So I'm gonna be pouring in some cream and some milk. And I'm going to divide half the sugar. Part of it will go in here and then I'll put part of it into the eggs, which we will whisk up. So I'm just going to heat this milk and cream and sugar until it begins to simmer. Okay, so this milk is simmering. The milk and the cream and the sugar. Now I'm going to temper in the eggs. All right, so now I'm going to cook this custard to 178 degrees. And because the milk was really warm when I first started tempering in the eggs, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, we are there. And I'm just going to strain it so that any extra bits of egg will be out and the custard will be very smooth. Okay, so now I can add our Amoretti flavoring. So I'm going to add three tablespoons of this mango artisan. I'm also going to add our raspberry artisan to another batch of ice cream base. So this will be three tablespoons. Our artisans are shelf stable, heat stable, no artificial ingredients in there. There are no artificial colors or sweeteners. So it's a wonderful way to add a lot of flavor to your ice cream. I'm going to mix this in completely, then I will chill it and put it in the refrigerator overnight and then spin it to manufacturer's instructions in the ice cream maker. All right, so the ice cream has been churned and it's frozen and then I've melted it. I want to bring it to a melty stage so that we can actually build our baked Alaska and I have a pound cake here. So I'm just going to cut a couple of rounds out of the cake. So I have lined the bowls with some plastic to make it easy to pull it out of this little bowl when it's frozen. So we're going to layer the ice cream and put the cake on top and then freeze it overnight. So that way you can just fold the plastic over and lift it up out of the bowl when you're ready. All right, so this has frozen, and if you have trouble pulling it out of your bowl, you can warm it with your hands and it'll probably lift right out. And now I'm going to cover this with meringue. So I already have some beautiful meringue here that I've made, and I'm just going to start decorating it. So I'm going to use this torch and I'm going to brown it, give it some nice texture. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do decide to make this recipe, please take a picture, tag us on social media. You can reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Amaretti. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a recipe and subscribe to our channel. You don't wanna miss out on all of our discounts, our promos, and of course, our giveaways. See you next time.